today we're checking out the new utility trailer from FMS. Uh, it's primarily designed to work with their FCX18, which is an 18th scale RC, uh, but it is also designed to work with a 12th scale crawler. They come in three different styles, two different colours. Let's check them out, have a look and see what you get in the box, see what the fitment's like, and uh, then we'll take them for a little run and uh, see what it's like. So they come in your little FMS box. So these ones down here I think are all the silver ones and then these ones are all the black ones. FMS have sent me the three different black styles. Uh, so in your box it come really nicely packaged. So they come in this little kind of plastic packaging. So first off you get your, um, your actual tow hitch. So it comes in there, let's pop that out. So it basically just screws onto the bottom of the trailer and then you've got the actual um, the actual hitch and it also comes with a stand so you can stand the trailer up when you're stationary. That's really cool. You get all your screws and everything and you also get some chains. I'll show you those in a moment. And then you get the actual trailer itself. So like I said, you've got three different styles. This is the kind of like the open style. Uh, and then what you can do on this one is you can actually unclip the side, unclip the back. And then you've got like a little ramp, which you can then put down. So if you had like, I don't know, like little bikes or something like that, or little quads or something, you know, you could uh, run them up in the back. Um, so that's pretty neat. Uh, they are pretty big trailers, to be honest. I'd say the one thing, because they're designed to be 112 and 118, uh, I think the actual wheels and tyres are slightly too big for an 18th scale, to be honest. So I am going to try in a minute putting the stock wheels and tyres that come on the FCX18 on here and just see if that looks a little bit better. Um, but yeah, really nice looking trailers. You've got leaf spring suspension underneath, uh, which is actually, you know, decent little working suspension. So you can see... You know, you've got some nice suspension movement there. So obviously when you're on the trail, it's going to have a nice bit of movement up and down. The actual uh, hitch itself just basically attaches to these mounting points on the bottom of the trailer. You just push it into place and obviously use your four screws that come in the bag to screw it together. Uh, and then obviously that's going to attach the actual trailer arm on there. Uh, so then obviously you've got your actual arm with your hitch. Uh, and then basically if you have an FCX18, you would have got the trailer hitch that was included with the FCX18. It's just a little hitch like that. You basically just, just slot it into the back of the FCX18 bumper, put your screw through the back, uh, and then obviously that's your hitch then for the actual um, trailer. Now, first of all, when I saw these, I thought that's just really rubbish. It's just going to swing open and shut all the time. But it's actually pretty decent. The actual trailer hitch goes on quite nicely. You just kind of push it through and because it's got that, because it's got that piece you know, it doesn't come off, um, so it actually will stay on there pretty well. You can see that's pretty sturdy, you know, for being on the trail when you're going over obstacles, you know, it's uh, it's a quite a clever design, actually, to be fair. Uh, yeah, when I first saw it, I was like, well, that's just going to come off every five seconds, but actually, that's pretty good. I, I like that. So just nice and simple. And then with the little bag of bits that come with the actual trailer itself... Get your hex head screws, which obviously to screw on your actual trailer arm to the trailer. Then you also get these trailer hooks. So this end just basically goes onto the actual trailer itself. We've got these little eyelets here that you'd attach that to. And then the actual hook actually fits perfectly in the back of the eyelets on the rear of the FCX18 bumper. So I'll show you that in a second on the one that I've already done. So then the second style trailer is again an open side and back trailer. Uh, but this one just has a fold down uh, rear bed. So you can just fold it down. Um, you've got your kind of like pretend lights and everything on there as well. So yeah, so that's your second trailer style. And then your third style, which I've already mocked up to the FCX18, is just a completely solid trailer. You know, just solid back, solid sides, no opening bed or anything like that. Uh, and if you just take a look, you can see the trailer hitch design. So you can see it's just hooked on there. It's not going anywhere. And then, like I said, those chains just fit right into the back little eyelets on the rear bumper. I mean, look at that. That's not going anywhere. You know, that's not coming off anytime soon. So, you know, really happy with that. I think that's really cool. And then obviously with the leg down, it's just going to stand up like that, which is pretty cool. They are quite big trailers, to be fair. As you can see, you know, comparison-wise, you know, this is the Endura TRX4M trailer. You can see the FMS trailer is bigger. I mean, if you look at where kind of like you'd have your front box on the Endura one, you know, it's only a little bit longer. Width-wise, they are pretty much identical. 
obviously the main difference is you know from where the wheel sits you know, how much extra trailer you've got on the back with the fms trailer um but yeah when you compare it to that you know it's not a massive difference uh, but obviously with this trailer from fms being designed for 18th scale or 12th scale that's obviously what makes it a slightly larger trailer you know it's a nice sturdy build really nicely put together i think it's just over 25 dollars for one of these from fms's website i'll put a link in the description to where you can get one from you may be able to use my five dollar off discount code as well so um i'll put a link in the description to the discount code as well if you want to give that a try see if you can get five dollars off so the wheels actually have this little kind of like a uh, wheel cap that just goes over the actual wheel itself and then you've got a tiny little wheel nut if you look at the actual trailer itself it doesn't have a it doesn't have a wheel hex on there it's just got the pin and then the back of the wheel has the pin recess built straight into it so you'll have to get your own little hexes if you do want to fit a different wheel uh, i haven't got any spare hexes at the moment and i can't bother to strip down another rig just to put some hexes on so we'll just run it with the stock wheels that come on it for the moment. But yeah, if you did want to change the wheels, you just need some like really low profile wheel hexes so that you'd have enough thread um, to obviously get a different wheel on there. So we'll chuck the wheels back on and then let's take it out for a little run and just see what they look like um, trailing with the trailer. This is how much rain we get in Wales and the UK. Look at this stream. It is absolutely flowing. That is mental. It's like overflowing in some places. It's been chucking it down for days. Yeah, good old Welsh weather. I've just chucked a little random stuff in the back of the trailer just so we can test out the suspension, I suppose. I've also put on the new Endura 56mm Swamp Claws on the FCX18 because there's going to be loads of mud and I thought the, uh, the comp pin tyres aren't really suited to mudding. They're more suited to rock crawling, to be honest. So, yes, yeah, so we've got the Swamp Claws on there. So let's just give it a little run, a bit of trailer fun, and just see what it's like. You know, it's not doing too bad on ground clearance and everything of the trailer. I'm quite happy the um, the stand is staying up there as well. It's not dropping down. I was quite worried that was just going to drop down as soon as we hit some obstacles. But, you know, we've just ripped along in second gear. Uh, no issues at all. The FCX18 seems to be pulling it really nicely, both in first gear and second gear. So far, I'd say it's uh, going pretty well. But uh, let's go for some nice muddy, boggy areas and see how it gets through there. Obviously, it's going to be a bit more of a challenge for it to pull all that weight especially the amount of tyres I've got in the back there, some of them being brass as well. Uh, see how it pulls it through.
I'd say I'm happy with that, you know, <laughs> nice and dirty on the first run, you know, what more can I ask for? <laughs> you know, I love a bit of mud, but yeah, it's still attached, it hasn't come off, no issues with the hitch, uh, the, the leg, whatever you want to call it for the trailer, you know, hasn't dropped down at all. Uh, I think actually with the 12 scale wheels that it comes on, because obviously like I said it is a 118 or 112 scale trailer, I think obviously the 12 scale wheels do give it a bit of extra ground clearance, which depending on how you're going to run it, but if you're going to run like mud and obstacles and stuff like I've just been doing, then obviously you want that kind of bit of extra ground clearance. Um, but yeah, really happy, the FCX 18's got plenty of torque, you know, it's pulling it through the mud without any issue, but yeah, I'm really happy with that, I think that's awesome. I'm going to uh, get some proper accessories in there at some point and, uh, you know, outfit all three trailers so I can use them on my three different FCX 18s. Uh, maybe see if I can hitch one up to one of the FCX 24s. I reckon that would look really cool on the back of the Unimog. I think that's a really decent trailer, you know, for like, what, $26? Uh, and like I said, you might even be able to use my $5 discount code as well. So you could potentially get it for like just over $20, um, which is not bad. So I'll put a link in the description to where you can get the trailers from uh, FMS's website. If you want to help support the channel, then you can use my referral code. And then obviously you can try and make use of my discount code as well. Uh, that'll obviously help the channel out. Appreciate it. Let me know what you think of it in the comments. Let me know which of the three is your favourite. Would you go for the silver or would you go for the black? Drop me a comment if you've got any questions. Give us a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe. Turn on that notification bell so you don't miss upcoming videos. Thank you very much for watching. And we'll see you on the next one.